One of the most powerful features of the business process communicator is that it can create uh, tasks and tasks can run operations and operations can create tasks and a task is an instantiation of an operation let me show you how to how we create an operation first let's choose the responsible person myself uh, the duration we're not worried about. Uh, we're going to make this operation send an SMS. So we'll choose uh, the SMS group. As a project, we'll choose business licensing. Let's choose sales. Um, we're going to say um, send out that SMS. It'll be SMS. Can be email, telephonic, or SMS. We'll use SMS. We don't need a reminder for this one. Um, we're going to say meeting SMS. And I'll repeat that in the subject line. In the detail, you can put in anything. You can put in documents, you can put in notes, you can put in procedures, whatever else you might need. Uh, save and back. Now we've got this uh, operation. Operations are standard and they will probably be there forever as long as you use the system. And you can use them over and over. Um, let's uh, create a process that would use this uh, operation. Let's say the process will be called uh, call meeting. Save. Now we select this, we add an operation to it, meeting SMS, make the sequence 10, uh, preceding sequence nothing, 0, save, and we have a process with operations. To instantiate this operation, we go to task view, we create a task, uh, you, s you can see I've got other tasks, I'm going to delete those. Uh, delete selected tasks, add a new task. I'm going to say, res I, I don't actually have to say anything. All I have to say is call meeting and save and back. This is the task that I've just created. That task has instantiated this task the operation has created this task and this this task has uh, already uh, sent out an SMS to me to say that I have to attend a meeting at Mimo's um, at a certain time the the whole thing can be taken further Let, let's let's create um, business licensing process um, we'll go to operations first I'm gonna add an operation for under business licensing uh, new operation responsible person myself duration let's say one day uh, there's no group because there's no SMS um, we're not running another process, although we can run a process from an operation. It'll go under the project business licensing. The description will be, and I'll put the sequence in here because it just makes it easier to understand. Um, check applicant uh, documentation. And I'm going to repeat that in the subject something we have to sort out still um, save and back okay you can see it in there and I'm gonna keep adding a few more operations we should have all the operations now okay now now let's look at the process um, 
processors um, and I'll put that in save uh, select and I'm going to add all the processors 10 sequences 10 um, preceding is 0 um, operation 20 sequence is 20 preceding is 10 save operation 30 sequence is um, 30 preceding is 20 save Next one is 40, preceding is um, uh, the sequence is 40, and preceding is 30. Save. Operation 50, sequence is 50. The preceding for 50 is 20. Uh, save. Then we've got 60, sequence is 60. Preceding for 60 is also 20. Uh, save. Operation um, 70. Sequence is 70. Uh, preceding for 70 is 40. Then we've got 80. Sequence is 80. Preceding for 80 is 50 save then we've got 90 90 preceding for 90 is 70 and 60 is to be completed before 90 can start so we save that the last operation is 100 where they issue the license the sequence is 100 and the preceding 90, operation 90 and operation 80 needs to be completed. So we have a network, a um, critical path network. Um, now let's look at uh, the tasks and see if we can instantiate this. Somebody comes into the office to apply for a business license we say add new task run the process business licensing save and back and there it is it tells me check the applicants documentation 